Previously extracting zip files directly on your iPad involved a third party app such as Documents by Readle or perhaps iZip. But these days it's a lot easier. We can now extract straight to the iPad. So this video is gonna show you exactly how to do that. So the first step is to click on the link to your zip file. So when you purchase something online from another artist, you'll usually receive an automatic email and that will provide a link to download the zip. So just tap on that and it should open in Safari. You'll see this little window saying, do you want to download and just press download. And if you can see this little icon with the download symbol, this is showing you that the zip file is downloading. Just give it a little time. It might take a little longer than it would perhaps if you were downloading on your desktop. That's just the nature of zips and iPads. They just take, it just does tend to take a little longer downloading zips on your iPad. It'll depend on the file size and also your internet connection as well. There's a few other zips in this particular download. This is one component of it. It's from my glitter and foil Procreate pack that I'm demoing here. So there's other textures and files in separate zips to make it easier to download. So this is number four and this contains the Procreate brushes. So when I tap on that, it takes me directly into my downloads folder in iCloud. So there I can see it up the top, fourbrushes.zip. I'm gonna tap on the zip and it extracted the whole folder. So what's really great about this method now and the updates to how the iPad receives zip files, previously we had to extract one file from the zip at, at a time. So I would have had to have gone back and done that another three times to get access to each of these files. But now it's just one simple tap and that whole zip file is extracted. So from here, I'll show you just how to import brush set files while we're here into Procreate because most of the time brushes are delivered as brush sets and brush sets just means that it has several brush files as part of that brush set. So you just simply tap on the file to import it. And you might notice in here now, as we scroll up to the top, there's the glitter and foil confetti file that I just opened. So that was the brush set file I just opened there. And if I go back into files, I can do that for the glitter and foil effects. And there it is at the top. So it always puts brush sets at the very top of your list. So that's how Procreate responds to brush sets. What if you had just one brush file that you wanted to import? It's very similar in terms of you just tap on the file. So I'm gonna find one to show you here. That's just dot brush is one individual file. And you can see that's taken me straight into my imported folder. And here's the brush here. Individual brush files will be installed inside your imported folder and brush sets will always go to the top of your list. So I hope this video helps and you, you know your way around extracting zip files now. They're really important for Procreate, especially because we use so many brushes. So it's a really handy skill to know. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more like this and I'll see you next time.